Hey everybody, I'm Will and this is Nukes Golf. It's a new golf channel where we're gonna try to focus on getting longer off the tee, closer to the pin with every shot, gaining distance with every shot. And this is the official launch. I had been making some videos without a launch monitor and they were really boring. Um, you couldn't, there's no shot tracer. You're just hitting balls into thin air and nobody could see it. There's no club head speed. There's no ball speed. There's no launch angle. And so I decided to hold off until I received the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro launch monitor that I pre-ordered within like one minute of the pre-orders opening up. I was like on my phone fogging up the screen just waiting for the countdown to be able to get this thing ordered and I put it in. They said they were gonna ship at the end of March. Here we are almost mid-April. I was harassing them, telling them, hey, I need it. And so they overnighted it to me. Thank you, Rapsodo. Um, and so I'm gonna unbox that now. I'm gonna do a little bit of um, overview on what the channel's kind of about, what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, mainly my first goals are set for this summer. We're, we're in uh, April, mid early April right now. And um, where I'd like to be by Labor Day. So or end of summer. Um, so let's get into this unboxing. Let's check out this Rapsodo. I don't know how to use it. I don't know what's in the box really. Um, I'm just hoping that I can get it all set up and maybe hit a few shots for you guys and we'll do just a brief test. And if you're interested in more videos, if you're interested in the Rapsodo or other equipment, because I have other equipment that I'm going to be doing reviews on, um, like hitting nets, hitting mats, anything like that, balls, tees, clubs, um, check out this channel, uh, subscribe and hit the notifications because I'm going to be busting out videos as fast as I can. And the primary element for my data collection is going to be the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro uh, launch monitor. So I think anybody that's looking to maybe set up a home simulator or, you know, if you, if you don't have space in your home, you might want to just buy a mat and a net and head to the park or a softball field or somewhere that you can just unload and hit some drives. So let's check it out. Let's see what's in this box. All right, so here's what here's what it comes in. Uh, like I said, they overnighted this to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's get to it. Let's cut this thing open and see what's inside. All right. So I'm really hoping that this thing is going to help me with tracking the data and the improvements I make as I implement different techniques or, um, you know, I'm just trying to get more flexible. I'm trying to get stronger. Uh, and I just want to make sure that I'm documenting what changes I make and, and the improvements that I'm, and I'm, that I'm getting from them. So, Peel this open. It had been rainy here. I lucked out with some sun. Um, but the trees are kind of dripping every once in a while. So, from what I understand, uh, these balls are the only balls that you can use for uh, monitoring your spin, your spin rate. Uh, I don't know. It's probably not the best thing they said it was like 65 bucks for a dozen of these which is pretty pricey but they said they last like 600 hits which i find hard to believe they have uh the little black dots on them if you're not familiar with these yet or you haven't looked into the rap soto yet um the ball has these little dots all over it um it's callaway ball decent ball um but you have to have this in order to measure your swing. And I just, if you're hitting a lot of iron shots, I don't know how these are gonna hold up. Follow the channel, <laughs> we'll find out. I'll let you know uh, along the way 
how long these balls last. But it seems like you could, I mean, there's a lot of dots on there. Initially I thought, you know, maybe if you had some kind of jig and you could just dot the ball up, but it, they're, I mean, they're all over this thing. Anyway, that might be a bigger pain than it's worth. And then here we go. Here is the Rap Soto. It comes in this nice little carry case. Seems pretty nice. I bought this, so like Rap Soto did not give this to me. As you can know, I like have a brand new channel. There's no reason to give me anything for free. Um, costs like 700 bucks. It does come with a one year subscription. We'll see how that plays out too. Uh, having to have a subscription, I think that opens up um, all the golf courses that they have. I think they said that there's like 30,000 golf courses. Uh, I don't know if you have to renew every year to continue to get just straight data from this thing. If you can um, just use it like, uh, what is it, the Garmin R10 or something like that, where you just can take it to the range and hit balls and it'll still give you feedback on your shots. Um, it'd be nice if you didn't have to pay for it, but you still got at least a virtual driving range or a simulated driving range. But, uh, here it is. So it has two cameras, whoa, it's already lit up there. Um, I don't know, I guess you pair it with your device. Then and this works with Apple or Android. Uh, looks like we got a charging cable there. Instructions, right. Uh, so, oh, let's see how it works with the Android. Let's see if we can find it. I'm just gonna go to my settings and see if it, there's like a Bluetooth um, connection. Let's see. Bluetooth. I'm not seeing it. So we actually might need to read some instructions. Ultimately, this is what you get in your box with a charging cable. And that's it, well packed. I'm gonna see how quickly I can set it up and maybe hit some balls. Um, I don't remember if I said this earlier. I'm gonna be using this. Oh, it looks like actually you can stand up a tablet in it and maybe a phone back here. It's got these little... My phone has a big fat case on it, so... Um, but anyway, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in like putting a golf simulator in your basement or your garage or your backyard. Um, and this is something that you're looking into. I'm gonna be using this all the time. So if you subscribe, hit the notifications, you will get to see how this thing operates. And I'm gonna use it for everything I do, basically. So let's see how, uh, how to get it hooked up and see if I can get it working and hit a few shots with it. All right, so it looks like I got everything set up with the Rap Soto. it's all lined up. I'll get into that more detail. I'm gonna hit some Stealth 2 shots into this. I uh, haven't warmed up, but it's the only club that I have in my Rap Soto bag that I've added because you gotta go through all these steps. So we'll see how it works if I shank one. You know, I gotta apologize to my neighbors, but anyway, here we go. That's one of the things I like about this net is the ball rolls right back to you. So that was just a nice, easy swing, just kind of a warm up. Uh, carry, we had 188, club speed 114, ball speed 153. Not very well hit, but I'm glad to see that the data is showing up and I'm gonna, I have to figure out how this thing works, but I'll try to get the images from this in the review once I figure all that out. I'll hit a couple more. See if we can step it up a little bit and crank a few. Just get right to ripping. Just kill one. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm using the um, 
Callaway spin ball because why not? Figure I'd give it a shot. I don't see spin on my data there, but whatever. We'll figure it out. It's all new. So we got carry whoa 177 ball speed 165 club speed 122 just not making good contact hit that one better and you see how the ball comes right back it's a pretty nice feature so that's a few drives uh doesn't look like that one registered at all. Maybe I'll hit another one real quick. Let's see. All right, there we go. Carry 281, club speed 125, ball speed 173. So anyway, it's stopping the ball, it's 173. I've hit like four shots. I need to warm up to get up, you know, in the 190s. But like I said, move the camera. All right, so I'm here at the Sudden Valley driving range. Um, I'm just setting up the Rapsodo MLM 2 launch monitor. Um, it's kind of strange because every time I go to set it up, it's like register the device and it's pretty annoying. So once I get that set up, um, I'll take a crack at a few swings and see how it goes. All right, so I'm almost out of battery. Um, I think I got it all lined up. It takes forever. I don't know that it can auto line up. I haven't used it before. But I'm gonna take a few cuts. Um, I only have one club added. Um, later videos, I'll show you how to add clubs. Um, so here we go. It says carry 67 and it just carried about 285. So that's not right. I don't know, I'm having trouble, so I'll keep working on it and then maybe make a video later.